Hey guys, Subtle 5 here with episode number 30 of the Frankfurt Career on Football Manager 2019. Yes, boys, it's back. Well, it came back yesterday, but you know what? Like I said yesterday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday is FM. Monday to Thursday is FIFA. So the game off camera was Borussia Mönchengladbach away. And we actually went 1-0 down in that game through Jacob Italiano. Not Italian, he's Australian. He's a faker. Number one. He scored on the hour mark to make it 1-0 to them. And then for the last half an hour, we kind of turned on the Jets. Spatafara got one. Four minutes later, made it 1-1. Consumo Marco de Gassa scored a penalty to make it 2-1. Spatafara got one again in the 89th, making it 3-1. And then Fernandez thought, yeah, I'll chip in. And he also got one in the 90th minute as well. And Fernandez and Spatafara are both subbed on, so very well done to them. Especially Spatafara got two goals after being subbed on in the at halftime. So, yeah. We've now got the second leg against Fiorentina and the semi final of the German Cup against Borussia Dortmund with the Werder Bremen game sandwiched in between. So let's go. They've gone for a 4 2 3 1. Uh, the only difference I can. M the main difference I notice is that Valencia has come out, Quartes has come in, former Liverpool man. We have gone pretty much the exact same as last time out, apart from. De Bock is actually suspended for having too many yellows. So we've brought in Spatafara for the right-hand side. Maybe probably should play with Aggieman in this game. Why not him back to Glick? Plays it all the way back to Lafont. Five minutes in. Lafont feels the pressure there from Jovic. Sure. Takes it down nicely. He's got options ahead of him. Finds Jovic. That is a brilliant ball over the top. No one to cross it into, so he holds it up. Spatafara, edge of the box. Shoots, scores. 1-0, five minutes into this one. Spatafara has continued his scoring form. Two goals in the previous game, one in this one. 13th goal of the season. We're going to go over... I'm going to do a season review now. I think every season at the end of the season, I'll do an extra episode, which is a season review. Going over the players and the leagues, stuff like that. 13 goals this season, though, for Spatafara. So we've got, as it seems right now, we've got two German teams going through in Leverkusen and us. Schalke are 0-0 with Marseille, and Chelsea are 0-0 with Bilbao. Marseille have just scored to make it 1-0. Chelsea have made it 1-0 against Bilbao. Pedro scored. I'm assuming... Yeah, that's not... That's not the Spanish Pedro. So as it stands, Chelsea, us, Leverkusen, and Marseille are going through. So Marseille have made it 2-0 against Schalke. So it looks... As it stands, it looks like things are going to... Remain, as I said earlier, no real changes. Chelsea are 3-0 up against Bilbao. Marseille are 2-0 up against Schalke. Julian Brandt has scored a hat-trick in this game. Not too bad. And we're just seeing out this game against Fiorentina. Tete, Spatafara. Tried to cross the play to... Oh, there could be a counter-attack here. Benedetti, great tackle by Ido. Straight into the path of Salvi. Tete gets a foot on that nicely. And we're going to retain possession. Renal upfield. Quartes. Aggieman intercepts. Lerma. Aggieman. Can't because, yeah, just keeping control of the ball here nicely. Jovic might actually get to this one. Nope. Why now then? Glick over the top. Shaw wins it. Pasalac. Plays through Zahavi. Plays through Bosha. Great tag. Great save. And then a good clearance there by Tete. This will be the final opportunity, so if they score here, it doesn't matter. They won't have enough time to score another one. But they don't even score. It is a 1-0 victory. 3-1 victory on aggregate. Brilliant performance. And we are through to the semi-finals of the Europa League. The draw's tomorrow, yeah. So I'll do. I'll go to the draw, then we'll do the Dortmund game. So, semi-finals. We've got Chelsea, Frankfurt, Leverkusen and Marseille. Right, here we go. Semi-final draw. This will be next episode. I didn't even know the final was in our stadium. Marseille. Chelsea. Hey, there we go. And we're away for the first game as well. So we're taking on Leverkusen. That will be the next episode. Both legs will be the next episode. Uh, let's look at the schedule. Yeah, so we'll do that game for this episode, then two, and then hopefully the final episode will be Hamburg, and we might have a triple header for the final episode. It could be if we do exactly what we want, 
It will be the German Cup final, the Europa League final, and Hamburg, the final day of the season. That's what the final episode of the season could turn out to be. But let's get in to the Borussia Dortmund semi-final game now. Right, so we're back, ready for the Borussia Dortmund game. I'll quickly go over the Werder Bremen game. It was a 3 deal victory. Danilo Oliveira scored a penalty in the 54th minute. For some reason, our left-back was taking penalties. Not too sure why Spatafara didn't take it. Anyway, Chu Hyun Wu then scored an own goal from a Debok long shot. He shoots, hits the bar, deflects back off of Hyun Wu, goes in, and it is... I can't remember whose shot it was. And then Consumer Marco de Grassa got the goal in the 89th minute, secured the victory. This probably secured the victory, but just added insult to injury then. With Consumer Marco de Grassa goal, 3-0. The youngsters played well in this game. And now we take on Borussia Dortmund. Semi-finals. Strongest teams going out there. Let's go, boys. Right. So, for Borussia Dortmund. 4-1-2-3. Onana. Martins Elvedi. Pongrasic. Mahel. Mir. Dahoud Witzel. Royce. Brun Larsen. And Halland up top. Marco Royce. Five minutes in. Scores a free kick from how far out? 30 yards? God damn it, man. Five minutes in, he just scored a 30-yard free kick, man. He's behind the line when he saves it. That's poor goalkeeping. Very poor goalkeeping. Right, halftime, we're still 1-0 down. We've had double the shots they've had, but they have dominated possession. So if I aggressively say, much better showing... And then assertively say, I believe you've got what it takes. Just motivate everyone. Could try and play a bit more attacking. But Aaron, two minutes into this half, head of the way. George Mir plays it short to Witzel. It's being pressured nicely, actually. George Mir to Witzel, over the top to Mahel. Bad touch, we could have approached on that. Oh, that is fucking bullshit. We need two goals now. Marco Royce has just scored two bullshit goals. 30 yard free kick and double deflection volley. Stupid. Poor from the keeper though. Renal. Really poor. Barco and Jovic aren't turning up. Literally, Jovic could come over, help. No. Aaron. Witzel. Lerma intercepts. Here we go. Counter attack. A lot of space down this side for Barco. Knock it back into the middle. Don't shoot. Corner. Spatavara whips it in. Pograsic. is going to get to the rebounded shot. Carter Vickers, yeah. How did I guess that would happen? Oh, we just rolled over and let him win. Royce whips it in. Jaden Sancho. Renal, we could get him on the counter attack here, hopefully. Nope. Oh, well, there we go. We're out. Got to the semi finals, which is one better than last year. Two bullshit Royce goals that were literally. Keeper should have saved the first one. And just got unlucky for the second one. Guess we're going to focus solely on the Europa League this season then. Next episode we're going to have Leverkusen. Both legs of the Leverkusen. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you have, please like, subscribe and peace.